Did you know that we have channel memberships now? If you'd like to help support this channel, get some exclusive Koobana emotes to use in the comments, as well as an exclusive badge by your name, click that join button now to find out more. Every bit of support really helps. Thanks guys. At the foot of Kaimon Dake Volcano, there's a tunnel. Technically, it's two tunnels, but it was built in the 1960s to take people around the volcano. Word was, it was also haunted. Unlike most haunted tunnels, the Kaimon Tunnel was still in use. It was the only way around the volcano by car. One night, a man and his girlfriend decided to go for a drive. Maybe they might get lucky and see one of these fabled ghosts. There was a rumour of a woman who peeked in from the open spaces in the roof. The tunnel had no lights, so at regular intervals there were spaces cut into the roof to let natural light in. It was said that a woman killed herself nearby, and she spent her time after death looking down from the tunnel roof. If you locked eyes with her, it meant that you would have an accident on your way home. They drove through the dark tunnel, the only light coming from the car's headlights. The tunnel was narrow, so narrow that only one car could fit through at a time. It was also long, incredibly long. It felt like they were driving forever. The driver looked up at the roof, but he saw nothing. No woman looking down. Either he was lucky, or it really was just a rumour. Then, the car stalled. It was an automatic. There was no reason for it to suddenly stall. The man tried over and over to get it going again, but nothing was working. His girlfriend turned and looked out the back window. Suddenly her face changed and her expression dropped. All the colour drained from her cheeks. It was like she'd seen a ghost. Something's coming! The pair started to panic. The man couldn't see anything, but his girlfriend's screaming and shaking were enough to let him know that they needed to get out of there, and soon. He turned the key over and over. The engine roared to life as his girlfriend grabbed his arm and yanked on his sleeve. They sped out of the tunnel, and when they were safely outside, the man's girlfriend pointed to her ankle, her arm trembling. There was a handprint, bright and angry, staring back at them. The pair went to the closest shrine they could find and asked the priest to purify them. They agreed never to drive through that tunnel again. Kaimon Tunnel sits at the foot of Kaimon Volcano, a volcano that rises 900 metres into the air and is one of the southernmost points of Japan. It's also where it gets its name, although not its official one. Nor is it technically one tunnel. Its official name is Okuramoto Tunnel No. 1, the southern part, and Okuramoto Tunnel No. 2, the northern part. But most people call it by its common name of Kaimon Tunnel. The tunnel is extremely narrow, only one car can fit through at any time, and in parts it's impossible to even open the car door. There are a few waiting sections inbuilt, just in case two cars happen to be in the tunnel at the same time, but they are few and far between. The open area between the tunnels is covered by a wire skeleton, so it's likely the tunnel was meant to be continuous, but for some reason, only that part remains unfinished. The southern part of the tunnel is 152 metres long, while the northern part is 625 metres long. There is no electric lighting, so holes were cut into the tunnel roof at regular intervals to let natural light in. This makes it, at best, gloomy during the day, and at worst, pitch black at night. It might seem like every tunnel in Kyushu is haunted, but unlike most, Kaimon Tunnel is still in use. It's not abandoned, 
nor has it been cordoned off. You can drive through it today and investigate for yourself whether it really is haunted or not. But beware, because there are a lot of stories about it. There were once rumours that a field hospital was built at the foot of the volcano during the Second World War, but no evidence has ever been found that this was true. Many troops were stationed in the area when Japan feared American invasion, but there was never a field hospital and it never saw battle. More recent rumours suggest the area is a popular suicide spot, with its wealth of dense forest and rocky beaches nearby. One woman supposedly hung herself in the area, and her spirit now haunts the tunnel from above, peeking in through the holes in the tunnel roof. If you're unlucky enough to see her looking down at you as you drive through, then prepare yourself. That means that you can expect to have an accident on your way home. Several drivers have reported finding their rear seat drenched in water after passing through the tunnel. As you may recall from Aoyama Cemetery and the legend of the ghost in the taxi, this is a fairly common occurrence with Japanese spirits. The spirits have an intense connection to water, and with rumours of suicides on the beach nearby, it's not too difficult to see how this rumour began here as well. And like the couple in the opening tale, there are rumours that spirits will chase cars inside the tunnel at night, and if they catch you, they will leave their mark. This may or may not require a visit to a nearby shrine for purification, but when it comes to Japanese ghosts, it's better to be safe than sorry. There's another potential reason for why ghosts haunt this particular tunnel. A local legend that has been around since the tunnel was first completed. At the bottom of Kaimon Volcano, and to the north of the tunnel, is a golf course. When that golf course was first under construction, it was plagued by accidents. The workers complained that it was a curse. They were angering the spirits, and they were taking their revenge upon them. The workers went to be purified at a local shrine, but it did nothing. The accidents continued. The man in charge, trying to find out what was going on, went to speak with some locals. There's an important shrine near here, called Hirakiki Shrine, they told him. They worship the god of the sea there, and the spirits of those who die in shipwrecks find their way back to that shrine. The path they take back passes through Kaimon Volcano, so the golf course you're building is in their way. They were unable to stop construction of the golf course after so much work had already been done. So, the leader came up with a new idea. A new type of construction unseen in Japan at the time. He would build a spirit path. Give the spirits a new way to reach the shrine. But that would cost money, and they would have to officially add it to the budget. So, they came up with a plan. To the general public, it would be known as a general thoroughway. An easy and safe way to travel around the volcano. They built the tunnel, and after that, the accident stopped. Construction went smoothly, and the golf course was finished. If you believe the stories, Kaimon Tunnel continues to lead spirits to Hirakiki Shrine to this day directing them away from the golf course. But not all pass through it completely. Some linger, it is said, and continue to haunt the living who pass through instead. If you believe the story, that is. But what do you guys think about this one? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.